Hello, everybody. Whoops. If it's not the flowers, it's the food or the table settings. Ah, see? Is that the letter to the orphanage? Yes, my lady. It's nearly done. <laughs> Make sure to tell them we'll send all the leftovers. And mm, something nice after that. Uh, uh oh. We'll make a large. Make a sizable donation in the name of King Joffrey. A little presumptuous of you, Mira. Whoops. <laughs> but I like it. Hey. I'm very grateful. See, I do right. I do well. I do what I do. Anyway, welcome back, everybody. My name is Set. Here you are. Hope you're enjoying this series. Series. Series so far. Oh. Are there any more invitations to send, or are we finally done with the cursed things? One more. An invitation to Sir Maynard. Who's Sir Maynard? Uh, yes. One of my father's favorite drinking companions. So it should be the life of the party? <laughs> Probably not. I have a letter for Lady Mira Forrester. Him again. Thank He's you. everywhere. My pleasure, Lady Mira. What is it, Mira? Probably to notify her that Ethan is dead. She asked that I help ensure Roderick's betrothal to Elena oh. Glenmore remain intact. How can you do that from a thousand leagues away? Ah, it's my help she's after, isn't it? She's a bold woman. Most would shy away from asking such things. No disrespect. She doesn't see the harm in what she does. She's not entirely wrong. A letter from me could encourage the Glenmores to honor the betrothal. But it wouldn't be very discreet you'd be forcing their hand. That isn't the way I do things. Dang it. You pushed me before and you saw the results. Oh. I'm sure your brother can secure the marriage on his own. Could that have gone another way? I guess it could have. What is this? I'd better get going. It's a huge yeah, view. We'll talk more later. Will I be given the tro Oh no, she took the seal. The candlestick maker. No, not really. If Lady Marjorie wrote a letter. Yeah, but you don't have the seal. So I'm not gonna do it. I'm sorry, Roderick. Sir Maynard, you are hereby. It wouldn't be official at all. It would make. Mira. Lady Marjorie sent me to pick up the letters. Make more of a mess, actually. Sir Maynard. <sighs> The man's breath smells like a brew house. I was hoping I'd catch you at something slightly more exciting. A love letter, perhaps? Or a oh, that was like war. Dirty Mag. <laughs> I know very but in that time, there was no magazine, so what would it be? Dirty paintings? And all that's happening with your family. But I was hoping we could talk. If you don't mind. What about? Well, it's... My own family's in trouble. We really should get these letters sent first. Do you need any help with I've those? I've got them. Jeez, what's with the ice cold relationship between these two? What's happening? There's sounds, but nothing. Oh, okay, we're back at the wall. Hello, Garrett. Gareth? Garrett. I keep forgetting his name. Fuckhead. You might be new here, but you're in my spot. <laughs> so move. We'll find another spot. Wrong yeah. Fucking answer. Most of you will be dead within the year. Good to know. Frostfinger and his bloody speeches. If you want to survive in the night's watch, listen close. You know why I got sent to the wall? The 
raping a pig? You raped the pig, didn't you? You should. At this girl I used to fuck now and again. Jeez. Face like a queen, tits like a whore. Turned out she was married to some lord. He tried to stick me with this. Interesting knife. I was stuck in him instead. Okay. So next time I say move, you best fucking move. Shut up for once, will you? What's your problem? I'm sick of Finn bragging about all the girls he's fucked. <laughs> what diagram are you here for? <laughs> Fucking potatoes. You, potatoes. you did it with a potato? <laughs> you <laughs> a potato. <laughs> I stole them. That's what got me sent to the wall. Nobody cares, thief. Oh, Don't man. Don't call me that. My name's Cutter. Cutter the potato fucker. <laughs> so for the songs. Oi. <laughs> My sister was hungry. Oh, I've got something for your sister. Well, I got sent here for who in seven hells is talking back there? Dang it! Continuing to be on his bad side. Tuttle. Who was it? It was me. Sorry, sir. It was my fault. Covering for your new brothers already. Oh, come on, I was talking. Garrett Tuttle here wants to be a ranger. So we can go north of the wall and die on some wildling spear. But what he wants doesn't mean shit. So today you're all gonna show me what you're made of. Can you swing a sword? Shoot a bow? Can you do something with this potato? <laughs> Those who do well might just survive the rest of you Frostfinger Hey Jon Snow I need a word Bastard son of um Eddard Stark Previous Lord of Winterfell and Warden of the North The new Warden of the North is Roose Bolton Tattle Tattle Give me a little tattle tattle Tittle tattle Tittle tattle So Jon Snow, what position does he have now? Because he went through the ranks. But I forget when he became Lord Commander. Castle Black. So this is home now. Let's look at him. Stare derisively. <laughs> I want to fight. Take that! Take that! Watch your bloody top. You, grab a practice sword. Get the red one. Red handle. That looks cool. So cool. But which sword actually looks good? That's like a bronze sword. I'm going with red because it's fancy. Oh, it's the rustiest piece of thing ever. I'll be sparring with you today. Not that bloody wall. Remember, these blades are dulled, but a sword's still a sword. Good luck. Don't need it. I have skill. Ooh. Wake up. Right trigger. Don't right. I keep forgetting. Ah! Come on, gotta show him what, what for. Show him what for. B. Well, for. Get off me, you bloody ox. You got lucky. Time to spar him? Or spar Jon Snow? Oh, interesting. Interesting. No, he's walking away. I did not impress him. Dang it. Let's go clockwise. 
You're doing that all wrong. Have these where I. Man's Raider will shit himself when he sees you coming. Let me show you. Man's Raider being the king north of the wall. I forget what the actual specific name he has. The Wildlings. The wildlings leader, basically. Alright, let's see if you can aim worth a Wildlings arse. What if a Wildlings arse is. Very valuable. Let's start easy. Middle dummy, center of the chest. All right, I'm aiming this. You can follow orders at least. Next bolt, left target, head. Okay, right stick is the aimy bit. Pew pew. Good. Right target, chest. Bad. Center between the eyes. Oh jeez, which one? Center between the eyes. One less wildling. I guess it's where the eyes should be. <laughs> I done good. I done good. You know I done good. I done good. Ah, uh, yeah. Nobody seems to be helping him. Pretty sure he has a hole in his foot at the moment. Finn thinks he's so bloody clever. If a real wildling got his hands on him, he's just a bully. Aye, he is. That's why I took this. Nice thief. Swiped it right off him. Don't tell, all right? That's his problem, though. I don't think he'd take it kindly. I can't problem. promise anything. I'm trusting you. Don't let me down. So there's a sneaky thief, who I can be friends with, or a brute idiot. Possibly an idiot, I don't know. Or an um, impulsive brute, I should say. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> Look at the brazier. Warm. It's bloody cold up here. Who's that above me on my left? That guy. Look at the hallway. Why am I doing this? Of course not. Why is that even an option? If you can't use it. You there, recruit. Scrawny, aren't you? See if you can carry one of these barrels over to the witch. For some reason that guy looks so fancy. <laughs> Slick back hair. Oh, hold it down. We got this. And up. Eve. Want some help? Throw throw it at him. Throw it at him. You got the shrink for it. Let's do this. Okay. Where am I going? I can only go forward. I can look around. That's the only movement I have is forward. Somebody's gonna knock into me. Got it, got it. No butterfingers, no butterfingers. Smash the earth. And, oh. Don't hurt yourself, Tuttle. I'm thinking steward for you. You can help Frostfinger wash his cock. <laughs> if the thing hasn't frozen off. Fuck off, Finn. Bloody ass. Mind your language, Gary. <laughs> the face on him was priceless. Mind your language. Tee hee. Stuff's gonna go down between the two. Oh, yep, there we go. You didn't even try. A crossbow's a coward's weapon. Besides, I could hit that dummy from here with my. Where is it? Where the fuck's my knife? If someone has it, I'll cut their fucking balls off. How the fuck should I know? You were the last one I showed it to. Ew. Well, you and. 
was you. What? You little fucking thief. It weren't me. Finn, don't. Yeah. Things are a brewing. Don't, Don't hide I'm behind me, way. dude. Daddy, do something. Just calm down. Fight. Oh! Okay. Say it again. If you ever hit me again, I swear i Let's do this. It's like a schoolyard. <laughs> Got this. I can mash the buttons as best as anyone. What? What? <laughs> I was pressing stuff. What is going on here? He stole my fucking knife. No, I didn't. And Garrett defended it. The last thief I caught no longer has hands. I swear I don't have it. Did he put it on me? He, it. he totally put it on me when he hid behind me. I expected better, Tuttle. Instead, I find you doing this on your first bloody day of training. Sir, Not I... Not another word. You clearly need a few days scrubbing the latrines. Jesus. Finger, I need another man to top the wall. So he is Lord Commander now. Let him freeze his balls off. Sweet. Let's I'll piss off the wall. Get off! Whoa. Mind your fucking manners. <laughs> you come with me. <laughs> How do you fit that thing in there? <laughs> Loot it. There we go. This way. Pretty. Lush greenery. I love King's Landing in the afternoon. The sun just barely kisses your skin. You used to love this place. Remember, we'd come listen to the musicians in the evening with Lady Marjorie. I have a lot on my mind lately. What did she want to talk about? What are you doing? You'll see. Queen Cersei's finest wine. <laughs> How do you even steal that? I hope you've got another one of those. <laughs> I never took you for a lush mirror. Oh, sadly, it's just the one. A lush mirror. <laughs> Sounds like there was no punctuation in between the two, but I don't know. A lush mirror instead of lush mirror. I don't know. Now I'm just stuck in my own head. Well, <laughs> is she an alcohol? You should get help, lady. Well. I just... Wow, come on. I'm not very good at this sort of thing. Listen, if I tell you this, Mira, you must promise to keep it to yourself. You can tell no one. I swear, I won't tell a soul. What is this about? My mother was a handmaiden to Lady Elena for many years. Oh, Lady Elena being the grandmother of... Became pregnant. Marjorie Tyrell. It was a disgrace Bullet. to her family. My true name is Sarah. Flowers. You're a bastard? Yes. Okay. I'm fortunate to be where I am. I know that. But to always have to hide. Was your mother from a noble house? She must have been. To serve Lady Elena. Yes, though it's not well known. Distant cousins of the Tyrells, I'm told. They wanted nothing to do with me after my mother died. But yet you're a handmaiden for Marjorie. So... How did you get this far? I, I mean... I've been very lucky, I suppose. It's just... 
I don't want to be Sarah Flowers forever. I need Lady Marjorie to arrange a marriage for me. Hmm. It's my chance at a life. Did you have someone in mind? Someone you wish to marry? <laughs> I'd have to convince Lady Marjorie to make an introduction first. I know she often confides in you, and I was hoping that maybe... Sometime when she comes to you wanting to talk, you might suggest she talk to me instead. Give me a chance to win her over. Coming from you is yeah, sure. a lot. Of course, Sarah. Thank Seeing how she's not really helping me out with uh, her own family situation. I'm so sorry. Here I am talking about myself. I know your family's troubles are much greater than mine. Yeah, being on the verge of extinction. Your father. Kind of more important. Well, who's to say? You need this more than I do. Chug a lug. Everybody's doing it. Tyrion, join in. A conspiracy of handmaidens. Lord Tyrion, my lord. Ladies. Hello, ladies. <laughs> Pretty funny series on HBO, I believe. Uh, we aren't doing anything wrong. On the contrary, you seem to be doing everything right. How do you even walk away with that? <laughs> Not the finest arbor red, but a favorite of my sister's. Quite expensive for a handmaiden. I'd be curious to know how you got hold of it. Because you want it. My sister didn't give it to you. She won't even share with me. Yeah. I took the wine from the cellars. Aren't you full of surprises? I suggest I do all the lie. Next time. <laughs> there are risks worth taking. Stealing wine from the Queen Regent isn't one of them. Why is there no apostrophe in that isn't thing? With me. Things have changed. My uh. father has recently taken an interest in Ironwood. Most of the Royal Navy went up in green flames. It must be rebuilt. He insisted I handle things myself. I'm on my way to meet representatives of Lord Whitehill. Lord Whitehill? He's hired a pair of merchant lords to broker for his house. It would seem Lord Whitehill wishes to sell the ironwood right out from beneath your family. I don't know much about the man, but judging by his up-jumped cells... I will speak for House Forrester. Perhaps you could. Sweet. Come with me. He sees a use in her. These men think I have no choice but to deal with them. Imagine their surprise when I bring a forester to the table. Yeah, she'll like know the value. The fun I've had in months. <laughs> My lady. <laughs> Shut. Chug, 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 chug. Frank, uh, tank. Anyway, guys, uh, that'll be it for today's episode. I do hope you enjoyed. Uh, please leave a like or a comment. Uh, if you're enjoying the series or not, or what other games you might want to see. And uh, let me know down in the comments there. I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye for now.